my channel. Today's video is going to be on this Daisy Christmas makeup look. Okay, honestly, this is more like a bridal Daisy look, but I'm going to title it as a Christmas Daisy look because it's holiday season. I haven't done like a traditional gold red look in a really long time. I actually don't think I have one here on my channel. So this one's for you guys. Also, I have something very exciting happening, um, as you could tell by the title or the thumbnail, I don't know yet, of this video, but I'm going to be hosting a holiday giveaway. If you want to know the rules and how to enter, you have to watch through this whole video and check at the end because that's where I'm going to announce how to enter, okay? But yeah, if you want to see how I got this look right here, then just keep on watching. Alright, so because we're using glitter for this look, I'm going to start with my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and prime them first. I'm just taking um, this Makeup Forever Camouflage Cream Palette, that medium shade. And um, I already have my brows on, so I'm only priming the top section, the part that's going to be my crease. Because I'm making a cut crease today, so when we cut the crease with concealer for the lid, it'll kind of prime that area anyway, so we don't need to prime it twice. Okay, so for this look, I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I know I use Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes a lot, but that's because I think they make the best eyeshadows. And also, like, I just love how convenient each palette is. I have the Modern Renaissance, I have the Norvina, I have the Soft Glam, I even have, like, an older one, like, the World Couture palette. And with each palette, it's, like, the perfect colors in each palette. They just make sense. So because I'm creating kind of, like, a bridal, daisy, Christmassy, glittery type of look, I like the colors that are in here because they're all warm and I'm going to be making a cut crease. So first what I'm actually going to do is I'm going into this matte eye color. It's actually in a crayon form. It's by the brand Nude Sticks and it's just a brown color. It's kind of like the NYX jumbo pencil. So I'm just going to draw my crease with this because I feel like it'll be easier to map it out with this first and then just kind of blend on top of it. I'm mapping out where I want my cut crease to be. And this is super creamy, so like don't worry about it drying up or being weird because we're going to clean this area up anyway. Okay, now I'm taking my Morphe M223 brush, no, M213 brush, and I'm dipping into Cypress Umber, this dark brown shade. And I'm going to just go ahead and start setting on top. And it is going to look very intense at first, but it's fine because... We are going to get there. Trust the process. This feels so weird because I haven't done like a makeup tutorial in so long. I've been doing so many videos with Donish lately because I'm still passionate about doing makeup and stuff, but I just feel like it's not realistic right now because people aren't even wearing makeup like that. So that's why I kind of decided to do more lifestyle videos rather than makeup videos but let me know which ones you prefer from me what type of content do you like from me better makeup or lifestyle okay and now i'm just gonna keep building so i'm taking this interesting shape brush i got this in my boxy charm i'll have everything listed below this um is a really weird shape but i'm gonna try to use it in my crease because i feel like it's gonna deposit color really well so i'm gonna pick up a little bit of raw sienna and burnt orange and just kind of blend over it to create a transition oh my god i just realized that i didn't highlight my brow bone Shit. But see how that blend is coming along? Like, I know it's still choppy, but it's coming along because of the brush that I'm using. And it fits into corners perfectly. I feel like this would be such a good concealer brush. I might actually try that. Okay, and then to really, like, diffuse this together, I'm picking up a little bit of that dark brown shade on this brush and just lightly going on top of this together to create more of a blend. Alright, now we cut that crease, slice that shit up, take whatever concealer you want in a very thin amount. See how much neater that looks though? Like it really just comes together as soon as you cut the crease. So what are y'all doing for the holidays this year anyway? I know that people aren't traveling and stuff like that. 
Okay, for the best part, glitter. I am taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Glitter. This is in the shade Star Power. I showed you guys this in my Sephora haul. This is the glitter that I bought, the golden one. And I really wanted to try this out. That's why I'm doing this look for you guys. So I'm taking the huge Anastasia Glitter Adhesive. Um, this is honestly the best glitter adhesive ever. I always say that every time I use it because it's true. So I'm just going to go ahead and start applying my glitter adhesive in small sections. Pour your glitter like into a cap or whatever you want to pour it into. And then pick it up on a brush. Do not like look. I'm not looking up because I don't want this to go into my crease. So as soon as you lay it down, don't open your eyes. And then you just pop it on. Now, okay, if you guys have been watching my makeup videos for some time now, you probably remember that usually before I do this glitter step, I'll put a shadow down. Like I'll put an actual eyeshadow as a base under it. I didn't do that today because it wastes time. Like if you're gonna use a glitter like this that's very opaque, it's chunky, it has like the perfect amount of reflex in it. You don't need to put a base color down, you can just go directly into a glitter. If you were going to use something like, for example, the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner, something that's thinner and it takes so many coats to get that glittery effect, then I'd probably put down a shimmery shadow under it just so that like if you miss a spot, there's like shadow under it, you know? It's not going to be missing. But for this, it's fine if you just want to go directly into the glitter. So, I'm just going to continue applying this all over my lid. If you get glitter in places you don't want it, knock it down right away. Don't let it stick. Also, this, my friends, you see all this glitter fallout, is the reason why we do eyes first when we're using loose glitter. Don't overdo this section. Kind of use like the tip of your brush. All right, now to make this even more extra than it already is, I'm going into this makeup by Mario, the Master Metallics, or sorry, the Master Metals eyeshadow palette. And I'm gonna create a color using this yellow gold and then this like bronzish color. I'm gonna mix them. And then I'm gonna turn it into basically like a liquid liner instead of a shadow. And I'm gonna add that detail into the crease. So you guys have seen me do this before. It's like a different variation of of a cut crease so this is like a traditional cut crease you can throw on your eyeliner lashes and then you're done but I'm gonna add just that extra detail because I feel like it's gonna make it pop more and plus this is like a daisy Christmas bridal whatever look this is so I want it to look extra and you know I love glitter but I also love metallic colors so I'm literally just mixing these and it goes into this little tray right here and then that's where you can mix the mixing medium in. I'm just gonna add a little bit more yellow gold. Okay, then I have the mixing medium and I put a lot, I put like three drops if you guys can see. And then I'm just gonna mix it up. I put a lot because I want to turn this into like the consistency of a liquid liner. So it's easy to apply. All right, so I'm taking it on a Morphe M250-1 brush. And you have to be pretty quick with it. Actually, since I put a lot of mixing medium, I think it should be fine, but it does set pretty fast. So try to be quick with it. All right, now I'm just sandwiching this in. If you don't go back and do this part, it will look messy. Like mine was looking hella messy. I think it needs to be a little bit more yellow, so I'm going on top of it with the yellow. Yeah, because if it doesn't pop out, like if the color isn't bright enough, it's not going to pop out. So I'm just going on top with the yellow. Yeah, I like that better. Oh, I have glitter all over me. Oh my god. So this is reminding me a lot of the Cleopatra look that I did. Because I did the same kind of cut crease style, but I put 
blue here instead of this yellow gold. I feel like using this yellow gold looks better than that mixture that I made because now it's standing out and it's popping more. So I'm just gonna clean it up, do the other side, and then we will continue. All right, honestly, I don't know how I feel about it, but I'm just gonna move on because I don't wanna do anything else. I'm gonna move on to eyeliner. I'm taking the Makeup by Mario liquid liner. I'm just gonna draw my wing. This eyeliner does not work well on top of glitter. So I'm just gonna switch eyeliners. I do not know why I struggled so hard putting eyeliner on today, oh my god. I switched eyeliners like three times and I still can't get it right. None of the liners I'm using are working with this glitter, which is weird because I've been able to use other eyeliners on top of this glitter before. I don't know, maybe my eyeliners are just old, but I'm gonna go ahead, struggle, do the other eyeliner and then come back and then we're gonna move on from the eyes. All right, with much struggle, I was able to do the other eye. I don't know why it was so hard to do my eyeliner today, but I also got my lashes on. I'm wearing the Lily Lashes. I think these are in the style Mykonos. I don't know exactly, but I'll leave them linked down below but they are lily lashes also i did put some mascara on my top lashes before putting on my falsies now i'm gonna move on to face because i'm kind of overdoing my eye makeup right now i had to take a dinner break so my face looks really dry because i wasn't wearing lotion the whole time before when i was doing eye makeup and stuff so this is my raw skin it's very dehydrated right now i had glitter so i just wiped it off using a baby wipe and if you have any leftover glitter um the best way to get it off is by taking a piece of tape and just like use the tape to remove it because sometimes when you wipe it it's like you keep dragging and dragging and it's not going anywhere so it's better to just use tape all right so now i'm moving on to face i am taking the no pore blum primer by touch and soul okay i think i got this in my boxy charm this primer is literally the best primer i've used in a really long time so i just took three pumps of it and honestly shit i'm gonna take four pumps of it because I don't even have moisturizer on my face, but it feels so good on your skin. And don't neglect your forehead, or your five head, or your three head. legit gonna have a heart attack because you guys have no idea how much I struggled doing my eyeliner like it was really bad okay I feel like I lost it I feel like I lost my makeup touch but all right I'm putting two more pumps because like I said I didn't have moisturizer on so I'm literally just using this primer as a moisturizer and this primer isn't the type of primer that you know how if you put too much primer on it starts to get like peely and like weird this doesn't feel like that at all but make sure if you have bags or like deep set eyes to take your primer underneath your eyes because it helps kind of hide a little bit of the deepness. It's not going to magically get rid of the hollows under your eyes, no, but it does help a little bit or I like to think so. And my skin is not at its best these days. It's life. All right, for foundation, I'm taking the NARS Longwear Radiant Foundation in the shade Aruba. And you guys, what I'm about to do is straight up for clickbait, <laughs> okay? So don't hate me, don't feel triggered, but I'm literally... I literally only put two pumps, okay? And I know this is very triggering. Shit, it's triggering for me too. So now I got this dirt on my face. I am taking my beauty sponge. Do not apply foundation like that. Don't be like me. Don't be weird. And don't get foundation in your hair either. 
Low-key though, if I do title this like Daisy Bridal Makeup, this is how much foundation they do wear. But I only did two pumps. They would probably put like five pumps all over the entire face. I didn't do all that. But if you wanted to, you totally could have. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but my dark circles have been so bad lately. Like, I feel like they're getting worse and worse as I'm getting older. So I'm going into that camouflage palette that I showed you earlier. Please excuse how messy this is, but I'm taking that orange color right here, which is the correcting shade. Now, I don't do this. I never color correct my dark circles before putting concealer, which is probably not something that... I should skip out on because of how intense my dark circles are so I'm just putting a little bit of corrector on top of them right here just using my finger and you don't need a lot when you put corrector on I know sometimes like if you see it in videos and stuff you'll see like makeup artists or like makeup bloggers using like so much red and orange to correct their um, darkness and then they put foundation concealer on top of it you guys, that's just for clickbait. It's just to get your attention, but honestly, you don't need that much. Like, you see how little I just applied? Even that is a good amount to cancel out darkness. I mean, like, I could go a little bit heavier if I wanted to, maybe like this much, but you don't need that much, okay? So, this color's perfect for me. If you're deeper than I am, you could use something slightly brighter. You don't need red. You do not need to use red lipstick, okay? Don't use red lipstick unless you really want to, but it's gonna be harder to cover the red lipstick unless you use something that's very blendable. You could use something light. You don't need something that strong, okay? So I'm just putting that out there because I don't want you guys thinking that like you need to use something bright red to cancel out darkness. You don't. It's just color theory. You just need something with a peach undertone or orange undertone to cancel out the purplish bluish tones that you have typically when you have dark circles like I do. So I'm going on top of that with my Pat McGrath concealer. This is in the shade LM14. And then I'm just going to go ahead and brighten up underneath my eyes okay and I've been seeing so many trends like on TikTok, Instagram, even YouTube of different ways of applying concealers and I have tried every possible way of applying concealer. I've been cursed with these dark circles pretty much my whole life. I did the dots way, I used to do the long triangle way, I started doing the skin tone way where you use like a skin tone shade here, lighter color there. I've done all of it, okay? And the most effective way for me is to just use a shade that's not too much lighter than my skin tone, but not like, you know, exactly my skin tone either. I like to use something that's closer to my skin tone though, and something that has the same undertone as my skin. Now I'm just gonna blend this out and I try not to take my concealer too far down if I have foundation on underneath. But a lot of times, I'll just use concealer by itself and in those situations, then I'll take my concealer all the way down. Also, another tip, don't blend it out right away like I just did. Wait for it to dry a little bit, maybe like a couple minutes, or you can take like a little fan. I've seen Jackie Ina do that here on YouTube. She is also a makeup blogger. She uses that technique where she like dries her concealer down before blending it out, and it works out really well for her. I actually wanted to start doing that. I might get a little mini fan just to dry my concealer before blending it, but honestly, if you just let it dry, even without a fan, give it like a minute, let it dry down, and then you'll be able to keep the coverage in the concealer. The only reason that I just blended it out right away right now is because this Pat McGrath concealer is full coverage, so I don't really need to do that with this concealer. I'm sure if I did, it'd probably look even better, but I don't have time for that today, man. I spent so much time doing my eye makeup. I took lots of breaks. I just had a dinner break, so now I am just trying to get this over with. But yeah, man, my dark circles have been killing me lately. Like, they're so freaking dark. 
and they're getting darker and darker every single day and I use eye cream and all that shit but it doesn't work yo and don't try to tell me some natural remedies oh put this potato put cucumber put tea bags no when you have hereditary dark circles nothing you do is going to get rid of them trust me but see how using that corrector really cancels out the darkness underneath my eyes I need to start doing that every time I do my makeup honestly I don't know why I don't Okay, just to highlight the high points of my face, I am taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This one's in the shade Light Neutral, 22N. This is not even close to my skin tone. It's like super light, but I'm literally just using it to brighten up these points in my face. But I'm going to be using a liquid highlighter today. I'm taking the Iconic London Illuminator. I'm putting this on now since I have liquids going on. I'm still going to put a highlighter later on on top of it. But I want to use this right now to get like that glowy finish. Alright, so this I'm blending out with my finger. And another way to use this, you can mix a few drops into your foundation. This one looks so pretty even on top, like after I powder and stuff. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Why haven't I used this before? Wow. Okay, and now I'm blending out my concealer. Alright, for setting powder, I'm taking this Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I had a small sample of it. I think I got this in like my 100 point perk from Sephora. And then right here, I'm just pressing it into my skin. And then I'm dusting off this powder right away. To be honest with you guys, I don't like baking. My skin can't handle baking. I still do the same kind of method where I'll put powder on with a wet sponge, but I don't leave it on. I usually dust it off right away. And if I do bake, I'll notice that like I look so crepey whenever I bake. And then whatever is left on my brush, I'm taking it on top of my cheekbones as well. Even though I put a liquid highlight there, I just want to make sure it's not slippery. Alright, now I'm taking a face powder in my skin tone. Just take whatever face powder is your favorite. Okay, make sure it's in your skin tone. If you have deep set eyes, okay? Pick it up on a brush like this, like a fluffy brush. And tilt your head back a little bit and do you see where you can see the sockets here? Now if you are blessed enough not to have this, you can totally skip what I'm saying. But if you do have this problem, just lightly dust it into those hollows. And you have to make sure that you're using a face powder that's your skin tone. Don't use something that's lighter because then it's going to accentuate it even more. Just make sure that it's in your skin tone. You're never going to be able to get rid of this deepness or hide this deepness with makeup, okay? The only way to hide it or get rid of it is by getting filler. Um, but sometimes if you get filler when you have dark circles, it can accentuate your dark circles. So you really gotta pick your battles, okay? So what I like to do is this. This is something that I've been doing a lot lately. Obviously when I do heavy makeup, I'm doing it for pictures, right? So I want it to look good in pictures so I don't have to face tune the shit out of this under eye area. Come on girls, like I'm not the only one. I know y'all do this too. I'm not even gonna bullshit with you guys. This part of like my makeup is my favorite part doing the concealer. I hate having dark circles. It's so annoying. And this one is worse than this one. So I gotta usually give this a little bit more love. Now you can't hide this with translucent powder. Like if you have dark circles and then you correct, conceal, and then still use translucent powder, how is it hiding properly? Because for me, I feel like it looks good in the beginning, but then after a few hours of wearing it, the shadows will start peeking through. So I find that when I use powder that's my skin tone, it works best. 
Alright, so you guys probably remember when I used to use the MAC powders, NC40 and NC35. When I used to set underneath my eyes with those powders, it used to last a lot longer and it'd cover really well. But the problem is that it definitely feels heavy and it's not good for fine lines. Like if you're wearing that kind of heavy makeup every single day just to hide your dark circles, you're going to end up giving yourself fine lines. Alright, I'm contouring my face using the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. So I've been liking putting my contour higher, like I put it right on my cheekbone now and blend it up. So see the difference already? Chiseled, not chiseled, chiseled, not chiseled. Honestly doing my face is my favorite part of makeup. I like it way better than doing my eye makeup. Like, sometimes I like doing my eye makeup, but man, my back be hurting after I do my eye makeup. So I like doing my face. I just like seeing the whole transformation. I just feel like it makes or breaks your makeup look. Like, you can be the shittiest at eye makeup, but if you have a nice face, like a really nice perfected complexion, then it doesn't even matter. If you have like a shitty face makeup and shitty eye makeup, then it's just gonna look like shit. So always perfect your face before you even try to perfect your eyes. I always contour underneath my chin too a little bit, just for fun. I'm not sure if it does anything, but I feel like it adds something. And then just slightly contouring my nose. Now when you're contouring your nose, you have to contour your nose according to your nose shape. Don't just contour your nose based off of a video that you saw. I don't like have a good nose contour routine like for myself. I just kind of define it. I like to make it look more defined in pictures so it doesn't look lost. I don't contour my nose to make my nose look smaller. Um, if you're trying to contour your nose to make your nose look smaller, I'm not the person to help you with that. The closer you put your nose contour lines, the smaller your nose will look. So if that's what you're trying to achieve, then do that but if you just want to define it then just do like how i'm doing it just kind of draw the lines on the side and then you can bring up your highlight to the side and then put one down the middle that's just how i do it the most standard way the only thing i'll tell you though is whether you define it or contour it make sure you take it up to your crease so that it doesn't look like it's starting from nowhere So now literally what I'm going to do, and I always do it like this, I'll draw it out but then I'll push the powders back in because I don't want there to be like that many defined lines. Alright, now I'm taking this blush from this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and I'm just going to go ahead and pop that onto my contour. So I no longer blush here. It brings my face down, I've realized. So now I blush here and I think it works better for my face and then right in the middle just a little bit I don't do that tip of the nose blush I don't like looking like Rudolph so I'm not gonna do that and then for my official highlighter so my powder highlighter I'm taking the makeup forever star powder and I'm literally just popping this on the highest point of my cheekbones because I don't want to overdo it not like I haven't already. No, but I'm really just doing it to catch the yellow tone. Since I have a lot of yellow tones going on in my makeup. And then now I'm doing my nose. Cupid's bow. Forehead slightly. And then blending it in with my fingers. Okay, and then I never highlighted my brow bone. I don't want to forget, so I'm just using the same. I'm using the finishing powder from in here to highlight my brow bone. Alright, let's just officially finish up with the eyes now. I never did my lower lash line. So I'm taking the Patrick Star One Size Eyeliner. And I'm going to go ahead and tight line top and bottom. And then for the lower lash line, I'm just going back into these two shades. And then maybe I'll dip into even Red Ochre. And then back to Cypress Umber, the dark brown. Alright, and then to do the inner tear duct, I'm taking the Shiseido Micro Liner Ink. Alright, and then for my inner tear duct highlight, I'm taking that same yellow star powder 
Makeup Forever and I'm just popping that here and here. Alright, mascara on the bottom lashes. I'm taking Bad Gal Bang. Last step. Alright, I showed you guys this in my Sephora makeup haul video. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross Hyaluronic uh, Collagen Lip Cushion. I've been using this before putting lipstick on and I even put some on like before I even started doing makeup. It tastes really bad. I don't think it does anything, but I spent money on it, so I like to think that it does. That's why I'm putting it on, but if you don't have it, skip it. It doesn't do much. Um, but make sure you do exfoliate your lips before doing anything to your lips, especially this time of year, because I know that I'm not the only one with crusty lips in wintertime. Alright, so for lip liner, I'm taking the Ace Beauty. This is in the shade So Gorgeous. and. You guys already can catch the drift. I'm about to do red lipstick. So when I do my lips, I start by lining my natural shape and then I overdraw slightly just to even them out. Inglot Cosmetics number 31. It's called the HD Lip Tint. Alright, so because I have pigmented lips, whenever I overdraw my lips, you can obviously tell that they're overdrawn. So I'm just gonna take a tissue and then loose powder. Alright, now I'm gonna clean up the shape. So what that just did is it gave me a new lip line. So now I can go on top of it with another layer of this and it's gonna look more natural. Also, by the way, this lip color tastes like cherry. So if you don't like cherry, don't get this. All right, so that's it for the makeup look. So I do have this Dika that also goes with this set that I'm wearing. Also, I don't know if I talked about the set yet, but the earrings that I'm wearing with it, they don't actually go with this set. The earrings that came with this set were really pretty, but I don't know what happened to them. So I just wanted to make it work since this is like a Daisy Christmas look. I wanted to do red and gold. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this deco on off camera and figure out my hair situation. And this is the final look. Now for the part that you guys have been waiting for. Hopefully you actually watched through my entire makeup tutorial, but if not, that's cool too. So the rules for my giveaway are one, you have to be subscribed to my channel. Two, you have to follow me on Instagram. And then three, this is a bonus. You don't have to do this if you don't have TikTok, but follow me on TikTok if you have a TikTok. I'm only going to be checking Instagram and YouTube. And then also, I'm going to be checking comments. So I want you guys to leave me a comment either here on my YouTube video, this video right here, or the Instagram um, kind of trailer of this YouTube video. So you can either comment on my Instagram one or here on my YouTube channel on this video. I want you guys to comment one thing that you're looking forward to in 2021 and that's it that's how you enter my giveaway I will be announcing winners on my Instagram story so make sure that you guys follow me there so that you can figure out who won and also this is not international so this is for us only I'm sorry I would have done international but it's already kind of late and I should have announced this before that I'm doing a giveaway but shit better late than never so make sure you guys follow me and you're subscribed to my channel and leave me a comment it's that simple i will be announcing the winner probably on friday or saturday this weekend so the weekend before christmas okay but yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit the like button on your way out and i'll see you guys in my next one bye also good luck